Hello farmers, in a situation where you have your new earthen pond like this, they just finished constructing it like they finished digging it and you have to stock your fish. How do you do? What should you do to the pond before you stock? Before that, I would like to enlighten you on the water the first water you get inside your earthen pond. If you want to stock the pond, you can see it uh, seems I, I showed you the video of this pond when they were constructing it and I told you about the sand that you should not pack the dike, that it defend the water that is coming uh, from all the angles of the pond. Like any erosion that is coming, it will come and it will not hit this dike, this sand. If it hits it, it will go back. So I told you not to pack it. I think I uploaded the video like that. But today, I want to lecture you on the water, the first water you get inside the pond. Now the question is, is it good to use the first water you have inside your pond or not good? Before we go into the video, you know me, my name is Simeon O. James. I'm one of your youngest fish farmer in Nigeria. And all I deal with is all about catfish. This is Aruta Farm. We teach you what you need to know about agriculture, mostly the livestock one and what I deal with mostly is the one of catfish so subscribe to our YouTube channel hit the notification bell to get notified whenever time we drop a new content for you now let's go quickly go into the video not to waste your time because a lot of people do complain that uh, too much talk, too much this. And I appreciate everyone who have been commending all my efforts in making a video for you and also creating a reasonable content for you. This is the water. This is not the first water we get inside the pond. But the construction was ongoing. On and on, on and on, on and on before they were able to finish with the construction. Now... This is the first water. Let me, let's assume this is the first water. This is the first water we are going to use for the fish here. Is the water okay to stock your fish or not? That is what we want to learn today. First, the water is okay to stock your fish. And secondly, the water is terribly not okay. Really not good to stock your fish. Especially if your fish are the post fingerlings. The juvenile size it is really not good to stock them inside why is it not good it is because the water you are seeing right now is acidic but this one i've already prepared it there's fish inside already i've already prepared this one it is the first water though but i've pumped out of this water severally when i say the water is acidic does it mean that the water is not suitable for catfish farming or they pour ice inside the water or I'm kind of preparing the water with ice seed or maybe the water is contaminated, you know, stuff like that. No. The water having been mixed with the sand while digging, you know everything will be polluted like the water will be dirty. So it will not be good for the health of your fish like it is mixed with sand. So the texture, the texture of the water will not even be okay for, for your fish farm it is not clean enough to stock your fish that is the reason why i said it is not good the reason why i said it is good is because you can do something to it like you fertilize it immediately after they finish digging this happened in a situation whereby if you don't have enough water like i'm getting it here although the water is just coming up gradually it is beyond that is not the level of the sack i think the water is more than one and a half feet so if you have it like that and you notice that your water is not coming out quickly then you don't need to pump it out the water is actually full before but we're working in the pond so that was the reason why we drain most of the water out of it we take it out so that we can work inside the pond so after finishing work the one that is left is the one i'm using now i didn't prepare this one fully before i start using it because i have fish already that are going into it 
and I cannot waste much time. You know, all these are our breeders they will be telling you, no, your fish cannot stay long in my place. You know, they will be feeding you, know, they will be counting all the cost and everything all together. So they'll be hasting you that you should come and pack your fish. So I have a fish book on the ground for this pond already, and I cannot waste too much time. So the very first thing I should do to this pond is to get the fishes from poultry, tie it in a sack and put it inside the pond for something like three days. Within that three days, naturally the water will turn green. So if the water turns green, that means it is fertilized enough and healthy enough to stock your fish. The second thing I'm still supposed to do is that of the lime powder. You know, I have a lot of videos about uh, treatment for pond here on the YouTube channel. Yes, I have a lot of videos like that on the YouTube channel you can check. So that of lime, I'm supposed to apply the lime inside as a newly dug pond. But because I have fish ready and lime will take me up to seven days before I will be able to stock the fish inside, I decided not to do that and I stock the fish like that. What are the consequences of stocking the fish inside the water like that? Is it that if you pump the water out on and on and on, it will change? No, it will take a longer time. You keep on pumping because it is a new pond. It will still get dirty. It won't get clean immediately. Even within one month, it will not get clean immediately. It is a newly dug pond. Now, in my own case, I stuck the pond like this without applying the lime or putting the poultry waste inside the water and I stock the fish and I'm still talking about the consequences of stocking this pond like that so what is the consequences that follow it the consequences has a lot to do with mortality yes the water is not healthy like I told you therefore it will affect the life of the fish there won't be much oxygen and the water is polluted like mixed with different kind of things that you cannot tell so you did not prepare it before you start stocking your fish therefore all these small small fish will have problem to survive inside but assuming you're having up to jumbo size or you're having something like a uh, smoking and you sort them inside they are not going to have problem because they are matured enough it's just let me make this example for you you know some of us that have already lived in the village before we in dry season when there is no much water we do go to the river or go to our well, we fetch the dirty water and we put alum inside. That thing that used to make water clean. Uh, I think it is uh, solid like this. So our mothers, they know all these things I'm talking about. If you've lived in the village before, you should know what I'm talking about. It is alum. So they put it inside so that it will, you know, sh should I say purify the water, like make the water to go clean it will clean the dirty one will sink down and the clean one will stay at the top from that process the water the clean one is healthy for drinking right so that is how it is for this pond too preparation will change the texture and the color and everything about this pond and fertilize it for the fish that are coming therefore the fish are going to be healthy inside that water because the water is already purified the water is healthy for them to live in in my own case now that i stock it what did i do of course i have mortality but the mortality are not something big to talk about i may have up to 10 i may have up to five mortality but when i stock the pond immediately within three days i've already get salt i put salt inside the pond remember i told you in one of my video on youtube channel that salt neutralize whatever things that is inside your pond anything that may likely affect your fish inside the pond salt will neutralize it quickly before any other thing therefore i put salt inside the water to neutralize whatever things that might affect the fish when i stock them so immediately i stock them that is it's not that very day i apply the salt i think it was the second day or the third day that i apply the salt but don't let it get more than that three days before you apply the salt as at the end of the day if you are feeding them with the water like that you will be seeing these white scratches at the at their back in their skull you'll be seeing the white scratches in their bodies that means they are having problem already from there they will be dying and smaller fish like this don't float like bigger fish so if they started dying you might not notice until you lose almost 10 or 15 percent of them and the remaining one that survive it is the one that will be left in the 
pond for you so therefore if you have a water like this the first thing you should think of doing if your fish are not ready and not fast ready to be stuck then you apply the natural one of um getting the poultry, poultry feces the feces from the chicken tie it and put it inside the pond please don't stock it with your fish you can do that one if you put it within three days it should start having effect after that three days if you want to stock your fish you can stock it it is natural so it won't affect your fish like this one of chemical which is lime so and the second one which is lime is you apply it and you leave it for seven days you, are, you put the lime powder inside the pond and you leave it for seven days. After seven days, your pond will be fertilized and the water will turn green. And at the end of the day, the water will be lively for your fish. So it will be healthy for your fish. And if you can't do that, you notice your fish are ready or you, you can't get water. If you pump this water out, then the best thing you can do when you stock your fish is within three days, kindly apply salt. Put salt that will be enough for the pond. So this pond now, I put something like 1.5 kg. That has a lot to do with the level, the volume of the water. Assuming the water is high, I might have put something like 3 kg or 2.5 kg inside the pond. But because the water level is low, I apply 1.5 so that it won't be too much for the fish that are inside. So that is all about the video. I believe you... Uh, able to gain something little out of the video so thank you so much for watching the video if you want to reach out to me there is a number on the screen already you can dial the number uh, you can text me on whatsapp and you can also call me directly so whenever time i'm free we can discuss and if i'm not free i will let you know that i'm busy at hand i might be in the farm working like this and when i'm working in the farm like this i usually forget the phone and focus on what i'm doing so when i'm done we can talk probably in the evening or in the morning so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel